Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Siege of Jerusalem. During the Crusades, the Crusader army has marched upon Jerusalem's door and they are about to invade. We are going to be seeing one of the bloodiest siege battles in all of actual history here played out in the totally accurate battle simulator. Let's get it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Metal War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, let's get right on into this thing with a huge army of defenders. A lot of their archers are moving forward despite the defense banners and that's gonna result in yes them falling off the wall. I don't know why they're doing that. Uh, we have some elite army soldiers over here for the defenders meeting the crusaders head on. Those crusaders just piling in armor into the equation. We've also got some pikemen back here reaching with their pikes against those crusaders. Those big old shields though that the crusaders have are going to be pretty difficult to penetrate. I think that's going to be the biggest problem that the defenders are going to have in this battle. We do have some arrow fire going into them, but again, those big shields are just <laughs> really dominant. They are hard to surpass on this battlefield, so that is going to be a major problem. And a lot of the archers keep falling off the walls! What are you guys do- what are you doing? Oh my god, they need to get a grip here as more knights enter the battlefield at least when they're off the walls they're still getting kills over here big head goes down ah, screw big head man everyone likes small head better anyway uh we do have a few i think this guy was like a spear thrower but he is just going in here blocking taking an arrow to the freaking chest there oh wow okay my goodness I mean, these archers are getting solid kills, though, so that is good to see for the defenders, for the attackers, not so good to see, but they have basically breached these walls with those big old Knights Templar shields. Look at that. They're just power housing through. Look! Holy cow, just a few seconds of regular speed, and it is absolutely devastating. We got some fire archers in here. I don't know where that shot was supposed to be going. It was not a very intelligent shot. I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Look at that. Look at the chaos ensuing below. <laughs> Absolute craziness. And they're on fire too now. I don't know if the fire shot is being all that effective other than making it seem absolutely more terrifying. Oh! One of those crusaders just hit his own men in the back of the head. That's a concussion. Man, how many concussions do you think happened in the crusader camp? Just like day to day. They probably they didn't even know what a freaking concussion was probably they, they probably had no idea that like head injuries could like do that <laughs> they're probably just like oh you're acting a little strange today aren't you but yeah, yeah that's just normal whatever you you weren't able to do math before i didn't think you'd become a genius or anything like that look at this the crusader army just left a ton of archers on the outside of these walls over here oh they do have archers combating them themselves though Crusader archers uh, versus defender archers. Oh. Oh. The defenders. Very skilled. Oh, they go down. <laughs> Rip. Can you climb these ladders? Oh, no. Okay. I, I, I don't know why I expected them to be able to. Either way, the very back here, we do still have more elite defenders uh, and staggered defenders throughout these uh, city streets here. During uh, the sacking of Jerusalem, it was one of the bloodiest battles uh, in all of medieval history, actually. Uh, literally, writers at the time said that the streets ran red with a river of blood. Um, and, and almost all of them said that, so we're, we're guessing historically that was no exaggeration. Uh, this battle just resulted in so much pure hatred from the crusaders uh there was all sorts of monstrosities committed truly truly heinous crimes uh during the sacking of jerusalem 
it, it, absolute brutality. Either way, these knights are ending up in the uh, the end game now over here, and they are just clobbering. That, those shields are so overpowered. Oh my god! Wow, those shields are a little too brutal, man. They're just clobbering them, and there you go. There's the L. Jerusalem has fallen, man. Uh, there wasn't a crazy amount of Crusaders left, but there was a decent number. They had less funds and less troopers than the defenders, and the defenders still got clobbered. Holy cow. All right, guys, let's do some more fun medieval battles today. All right, gamers, we have another massive castle here. This time, it's actually a Russian castle, and we have some English soldiers sieging it. I, this is not a historical battle. This is just for fun, boys. Uh, but yeah, the soldiers sieging it. We have some knights. Uh, well, they've even got the cross on them. Okay, maybe this is a, a crusader army. I did not mean to make this a crusader army. Uh, we've got archers. We have the duke right here. Uh, and then <laughs> we've got some like men-at-arms, stuff like that. Just a whole lot of soldiers sieging this massive Russian castle. The Russians have themselves archers up top, uh, as well as some spearmen holding each of these platforms. And then down below, we have even more spearmen, uh, some mace boys, uh, and then further back, we have some halberds and more spearmen ready to hold out. So, let's get this kraken. Hey, boys. I'm actually pretty interested to see how this goes. Setting forward about five spearmen just to, I don't know, slow these guys down or something. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. Let's see if they're going to go up the ramps. They are. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, baby. It's like Mountain Blade all over again. Oh, oh. These guys are not holding formation. Apparently, they have a little bit of charge movement available to them. <laughs> Some of them also doing a little Fusro Da action. Pretty crazy stuff. Arrows are flying uh, from some of these archers. Uh, those shields, once again, though, coming in handy for the defenders. That was a nut shot right there. Didn't get the kill on the nut shot, though. You hate to see that. Okay, these guys are going to about wreck house here. These, these spearmen up top better come through. There we go. Spearmen are charging through the gap to try and dislodge these guys. Hopefully they can toss some of them like off the wall, you know, just sort of get them away from the the total castle siege that's going on over here that would be pretty good my cat just hissed at my other cat oh boy oh boy all right over this way it does seem like they are also charging on in here pretty triumphantly and doing some big things against the defenders up top oh but this ramp over here is struggling to attack they're nice they're nice little gateway over here oh it's the it's the duke who's doing a little foos row doll oh jeez Wow, that was a powerful one. Woo! His, uh... His powers are mighty, aren't they? Would you look at that? But, but at the same time, this army is getting stopped at the gate here. It seems like perhaps the ramps up to the castle walls are going to be their best bet. Because uh, these areas are at least doing a little bit better. They all got knocked off, though. And now it seems like they're about to walk back up. <laughs> So at least we're seeing um, some delays in the battle here. What it did that man just jump up like freaking Michael Jordan and kill that archer? How? What? Did y'all see that or was that just me? Oh my god, the Duke is still alive as well. He's sending in second wave of soldiers. We've got some mace swingers up in here going nuts. He Fusro does again. Oh my god, what a legend! Holy cow, this duke! He knows what he's doing. Oh, he gets whacked by a banner. Did he die? The duke died to a banner bearer. <laughs> okay, I take everything I said about the duke back. I take back all of the praise that I was just toting onto him. Because that is a silly way to die. Look at this guy. Your, your uniform not really fit you there, bud? <laughs> and he's dead. Uh, the archers are coming through here and firing away bit by bit trying to kill some of this Russian infantry uh, That is now actually charging on forward. I think one of the banner bearers must have died So that's why they're doing that. Oh The Knights have taken the top walls and just in time to help out the bottom because the bottom is not doing super hot right now So, uh, you know, it's very good that the the tops did manage to get taken. Did it happen over here, too? Yes, indeed Well almost there's still an archer over this way. <laughs> He's chilling. He's having fun. He's probably not having fun. He knows he's about to die. Okay, more knights coming in. And just in time, because this gatehouse was looking like it was not going to be falling. So those reinforcements are extra helpful right now. Uh, and then we have the spearmen and halberdmen back here. 
who are about to get involved in this battle. That stay banner is not really helping all that much. He died anyway, so who even gives a hoot about him? Doesn't even matter! The Halberds swangin'. They have such a long thing that I think they're, they're really struggling to actually get any hits with it. They are getting tabs right now. That totally accurate battle simulator accuracy is not working out for them. Oh my god, wow, look how many archers survived for the attackers. I guess that's kind of what you get when you actually let your archers be archers and don't just toss them in willy-nilly into the battlefield. But the last of the defenders, they're working their magic, they're trying, and they're dead. <laughs> my man, my poor, poor man. The last man standing. I would hate to be the last man standing in a siege. That would be probably terrifying, you know? But either way, that is going to be about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've been enjoying these tabs videos. I've been having a blast making them, so thank you so much for watching them. Uh, be sure to hit that like button if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.